it's weird. You go all the way to San Francisco and you run into a couple of guys from Round Lake. <laughs> <laughs> a Death Wish Coffee. Uh, we got we got Mike. We got we got John here, guys. What are you doing here? Come on, man. You, you, you can make coffee. You guys are about to have the, the big game commercial. Yeah, we should be roasted right now. That's for sure. The boss man uh, let us get away for a couple days to spend in San Francisco. <laughs> kind of enjoy ourselves. So I don't feel guilty for not being at work today. Are you guys worried that once that, that commercial hits the, the Super Bowl, you guys are just going to get inundated with, with uh, orders? We've been, yes, we're going to get crushed with orders. But we've been preparing for two months now. Our inventories have been being stocked up. We're shooting for about a, about a quarter million pounds worth of coffee in our inventory channels. But it's after the Super Bowl commercial was initially released on Thursday, um, we've been having crazy days, crazy days of sales, and um, great. We're getting great reviews. So I you know that inventory is down a little lower than we would like, but at the same time, our roasters are going about 20 hours a day right now. So uh, in case anybody hasn't caught up on this story yet, Death Wish Coffee, uh, you guys been part of this show since there was this show and uh, we appreciate that but in the meantime you uh you happen to have such a great product such a great logo such a great message everybody loves your stuff that uh was it Intuit QuickBooks yeah Intuit QuickBooks hosted a small business big game competition where 15,000 businesses throughout the United States you know entered and it was all about small business success and entrepreneurship and which company embodied entrepreneurship and small business the best and America voted um, and thanks to the capital region thanks to you guys um, we came out on top now uh, the great commercial if you haven't seen it we posted at 104.5 the team dot com it's at deathwishcoffee.com um, you have to see it you guys um, have been wandering the streets with Vikings here in San Francisco Yes, uh, and they're scary, and they're huge, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun. Uh, into it uh, was, uh, they've been awesome. They gave us a uh, coffee truck to drive around San Francisco, and they uh, loaded up four you know, like monster-sized Vikings to serve coffee. It's been insane. Yeah. Weirdest baristas ever. Weirdest baristas yes. ever, and I'm sure that they scared. I'm, I'm sure they. Scared I think they scared away more people than. People than, they <laughs> <laughs> than we actually served coffee. We had, we did end up going through a thousand cups. That's cool. A thousand cups in uh, on Wednesday. All right, we are we are here at Radio Row with Death, Death Wish Coffee. Uh, John, Mike, join us. Brady's never had a cup of coffee, guys. We're really bringing this up again. He's never yeah. had a cup of coffee. <laughs> nah, I just I haven't. Like I said, I like I said on the phone. I don't feel like caffeine has a has a huge effect on me. Then I said soda doesn't have an effect on me. You guys said it was just sugar anyway, so I, I don't know. I just haven't had it. Yeah, you're a big Mountain Dew guy, right? I'm a huge Mountain Dew guy. Yeah, that, that's Mountain Dew's just sugar. That's can, all that is. Can we just have like a couple of the Vikings come in with a coffee cup and force Brady <laughs> to drink it right now? Yeah, just pin them down. <laughs> just dump it down if they're the around, I'll bring them in. <laughs> but. Uh, we get, so he thinks it doesn't do anything. When we get back to the studio, you guys are going to have to come in, bring him a cup of coffee. We'll give it to him at 3 right in the beginning of the show, and then we'll see what happens to him as the show goes on. I mean, I didn't drink coffee until I was 25, okay. and then I was having trouble making it through the day. I'm 26. So I'm starting to hit So, that. yeah, if you're, you're, you're 26 now, you're about to hit that wall. It comes around right after lunch, around 2 o'clock. So yeah. how many millions does that equate to? Like, how much does that spot actually cost if you bought it? I mean, we don't know exactly. Um, we didn't have that information shared with us, but I've overheard that it's about $5 million plus the production costs, and it's a big budget production commercial. Um, I don't know. If you haven't seen it, go to our website or go to Quick QuickBooks' uh, YouTube page, and, and it's streaming on there. Jeez, that's awesome. Well, you guys are great, and you guys, you know, you, you work your butts off. You believe in your product. Um, anybody who hasn't tried Death Wish yet, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys? Um, go to deathwishcoffee.com. Um, all the contact information's there, and that's probably the best way to order it too. Or you can swing by the warehouse in Round Lake. Um, we love meeting people. We love meeting the community, and we'd love to thank you guys. I feel like uh, we're mere months away from. Lubak, I can't talk to you right now. Okay, I have to go. I have to go on. This <laughs> no, day, never, so never, <laughs> never. All right, guys. Yeah, it, I love Deathwish. Love you guys, and uh, thanks for helping us out with the show all this time. And I can't wait to actually like be watching the game. And have your commercial pop up. Third quarter. Watch third, the third, third quarter. quarter. Third yep. quarter. Awesome. Good news, man. <laughs> uh, congratulations. And uh, we look forward to uh, beating you guys up in uh, fantasy football next season. Yes, <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs>